Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, this week's spares project I have been thinking long and hard because I haven't been to Poundland or nothing. I really, really haven't. So, um, I have an old vase laying around the flat. So I thought, why not decorate the vase? Um, no idea what I'm going to do yet. Uh, I think I might just do something going around the edge and then coming down. And then maybe just do a little teeny bit of a pattern here, but not like completely fill it. That is my plan for that. Or do I go with squares and do fill it? I don't know. I'm a bit... Yeah, I think I might go with the rounds and do a pattern because obviously it's a thingy shape. So it might all quite fit right. So I think that's what I'll do. So yeah, let's get, let's change the angle. Let's see exactly what we could come up with, okay? Right, so I'm on the last bit. Um, I don't know. I seem to have had like brain block with this one. Um, I just couldn't think what to do. So it hasn't come out anything like I originally planned. And I don't know. I haven't really enjoyed doing this. I think it's because it's just an awkward shape and size and everything. At least it looks. I still think it looks good. But I think maybe I need to do like a bigger spares project. I haven't done a big spares project in ages. So I've, I've remembered I've got a big old mirror in my bedroom. And I thought, why don't I decorate that? So that is the plan. That is what I'm going to do next. I'm going to decorate up my mirror. I'll be trying to think what I could do next and everything. And then I just suddenly thought, Gemma, you've got that massive mirror sat in your bedroom. Why don't you decorate that? So that's what I'm going to do. So, yeah. That is the plan. I'm on my own again tonight. Husband is at work. So he won't get home till God knows what the time because he's in Norwich all week long, which is just like, it's so weird. Uh, he does quite come home at night and everything. They haven't paid for a hotel or nothing. And that's about, Norwich is about roughly an hour and a half, two hours away from us, depends on traffic. 
um so yeah it's it's been a bit of a few it's it's just i've got a lot of getting used to i'm not used to him working away from home like like working different times to me and everything but he seems to be enjoying it and that's the main thing as long as he's enjoying it and he's happy and like Obviously, he's got. He said he's got to speak to his area manager again, because obviously he did tell him that he just wants. <clears throat> he doesn't mind whatever. What the other day he has off is, he just wants a Wednesday off, right? So, so we can spend one day off a week together. You know, that is all. All he really wants is just one day. Together. So, hopefully, he will be able to get Wednesdays off because, you know, I, it'll be hard not spending any time with him at all otherwise, hardly. Maybe the odd hour here and there. And so, yeah, it will be, that's what I would like, just one hour. Well, one day a week. You know, I'm not asking too much. You know, he's not asking too much, I personally don't think. It's not like he's asking for like weekends off or anything like that. You know, he just wants one day off on a Wednesday just to be be with his wife, spend time with his wife and everything else. Because, you know, it's not easy not... If it, we've gone from like spending all our time, well, not all our time together, but like working the same shifts and everything to not see you know to not working complete opposite shifts i don't know obviously we'll make it work and everything but it's just so so weird at first um you know it's just gonna take some getting used to and I don't, I don't think i'm sleeping very well either like when he's not because obviously we slept the same times for the last however many years. We've always worked the same times and everything. And we've gone from that to not work it to not work in the same shifts and everything and it is it is strange, you know. Ten years or, or eleven years, I think now. Um, I've just worked in the same shifts and everything, and it's just so weird. It's so so weird. So hopefully he'll be able to get like just a Wednesday, so we can spend a Wednesday together. And I still have our um, holiday in May to look forward to, you know. We're only going to a haven site. It's nothing fancy. Well, it's, to be honest, we've ordered, we, we booked one of the more, like, higher chalets. Um, you know, the static caravan things. We bought, we booked one of the most expensive ones. So, hopefully, you know, well, hold on, hopefully... I know we will definitely have a nice few days away. We're just going away from the Monday to the Friday, just for a few days. But I know that we will enjoy ourselves very, very much. And we did book it quite early. So then we knew that we had more than enough, like... So, because I, if you look, like, with Haven, like, holidays and that, if you book them with, like, months and months and months in advance, it's the cheap, they're the cheapest. So, that's what we did. We booked, like, no, last November we decided to book them. And, yeah, we booked about November time to go away in May. So, we booked with loads and loads of time in advance to get it, like, a lot cheaper. Because it, well, they were, I, we ha I had a look one day. Just out of curiosity to see how much they are. And they weren't that expensive at all. So, I thought to myself, do you know what? I'm going to, 
Oh, so I'll speak to my husband about it. And I said to him, look, it, like, we haven't had a holiday in a while. And showed him and everything and showed him the prices. And he said, well, to be honest, it's too good to pass up. He goes, we get have a little mini holiday. Just me and him. And have a really nice time. So that was the plan. And we do, we, you know, we always have such a lovely time. We have been, what, like, I, I used to go to this campsite a lot uh, at this holiday park a lot when i was a kid that is where they used to hold major competitions when i was a kid like weekend away competitions and it used to always 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 be like the highlight of like the major year going away for a weekend so that was you know something we always used to look forward to So yeah, we're we're excited. Yeah, you know, to have just have a few week a few a few days away. We are looking forward to it. Um so yeah, my husband is enjoying his new job so far. It's just obviously at the moment for this week he's having training over in Norwich. So yeah, he's got he's got quite a bit of a distance to go every day. Um, especially with the fuel prices the way they are at the minute, so because fuel prices are absolutely ridiculous. But hey ho, there's nothing we can actually do about it. Well, to be honest, last time this the good thing is though, at the moment the government is getting over a pound each time in tax. God forbid they lower the tax part. Hey, you know all they care about is they're getting their little pay rises and all that we're not you know we don't really get that much of a pay rise each year um but yeah i am looking forward to our few days away i that is one thing i am really looking forward to in may really really am looking forward to because we haven't really had obviously the last time we went away was i think 2019 i'm sure of it for my husband's birthday we went we went to turkey turkey yeah we went to turkey last time last time we went away because um we always come back with too many clothes i had to buy a new suit i had to buy a bigger suitcase last time so yeah if you ever go on holiday to turkey you don't need to take much because it's so cheap to buy out there, honestly. We always buy so many. We kit ourselves out with, like, winter coats and, you know, everything. Like for men, it's brilliant. They've got such a math bigger selection for men than women. Women, it's like they mainly do, like, the old handbags and that. But, um, which is okay, it's not the end of the world, you know, you know, you can still pick up some nice bits for women. But obviously for men, it is really catered for men out there. So my husband really does, like, kit himself out, he buys loads of new t-shirts and, and the quality is really good. They do last a really long time. I think we recently had to throw out a t-shirt a couple of months ago, so that lasted, like... So like over two years so yeah definitely are good quality you know over there he still wears quite a bit of it now you know there's quite a bit he still wears and like when we go away like i always buy like my nephew some t-shirts and all that and my sister always says they wash up lovely and i'm pretty sure my younger nephew is wearing some of my older nephew's bits now because obviously my older nephew is outgrowing his but then my younger nephew can grow into them so yeah she's always handy for my sister <clears throat> <coughs> sorry i keep coughing a lot lately um but yeah i just can't wait to get away for a few days i'm probably going to talk about so much um months coming up because obviously it's march now we go away in may 
so it's under two months and yeah so i am pretty excited about that it's nice to have something to look forward to it really is so and i know like not everybody on this earth can afford to go away for a few days like we are so i know we are lucky we, we you know even like like what what we've been doing is like saving up our um i'm saving up club car vouchers and all that um so i can use that and not, or are you going to use it then or i'm going to um save them for black friday my club car vouchers so yeah that is one of the plans i don't know yet i haven't decided but whichever one i decide we are going to do because the plan is around Black Friday to buy a new TV. Our TV, it still works fine and everything. But, like, you go around other people's and the picture quality around other people's is just so much better. It's like when I dog sit for a week. I can, you know, the difference between my mum's TV and our TV is just so different. So, so different. So yeah, I, I'm not going to really do much, too much for this now. I think I'm going to leave it like this because I don't really know what else to do on this. I'm a bit stuck and I don't know. I think it's because I'm tired. I'm not sleeping very well. Getting used to like sleeping on my own and everything. But I still think it looks really nice. I really do. What do you guys think? Yeah, it still looks nice, I think. She says, apologies about my ring light. I need to get a new ring light as well because this one keeps flickering now. So that one is trying to go on me. But yeah, so let's crack to the old outro and go and start the next spares project, shall we? So my vase is done. I didn't go too mad. I got a bit of a brain block with it. I wasn't sure what to do and everything. And time's getting on, but you can do whatever you want. You can cover the whole thing in multicolour. Just go mad, honestly. Do whatever you want. I do think it still looks quite nice, so it will look effective, you know. Sat on the window or something, and it's really shiny and everything. I do need to buffer it up where, like, I've smudged glue and everything. But a bit of um, nail varnish remover brings it up spotless. It's so, like, yeah. So that is it for this week's spares idea. Let me know down below in the old comments what you think of this week's idea. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe and give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. So that's it for this week's video. Thank you ever so much for watching and I shall see you all next time. Bye everyone.